Guys, I want to welcome you back to the channel. This is the Digital Review. I am your host, Mike. And in this video, we're going to talk about Power Season 6, Episode 11, Still Dre. The wait is finally over. We got to see a little bit more of what happened. We got to see Dre's perspective before his ass got lit up. And I wanted to actually put a video together to share some of the theories that I've been sent and put to bed some of these theories. So if you give me a second, I'll load these up and I'll be right back. If you're wondering why you should subscribe to this channel, this channel is made for someone that likes sports, sports gear, tech and technology, or hot takes on current events such as who shot James St. Patrick. If you like any of those, this channel might be for you. Hit that sub button below and help me get to a thousand subs so I can give you even more hot takes. And now on to the video. So guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's get into this video. Power. Episode 11, titled Still Dre. It seemed like it took forever for Power to get back on TV. And now that it's back on TV, you know, I sat and I watched this thing like most of you guys did. I was hoping to see something, some kind of clue, some kind of nugget. And the writers did what they were supposed to do. So kudos to the writers. Um, before I get into my thoughts on the video, I am going to talk about uh, some of the theories that have been sent to me that are still alive and some that are just got to be put to bed, you know, for the most part, um, I got that motherfucker's dead and that very well could be, he could be dead. So I'm gonna let that one stick. I don't think he's dead. Um, but it could be ghost is dead. James, James St. Patrick is alive. It could be James St. Patrick is dead and ghost is coming back. Um, that that scenario could play out. So I'm going to let that one live, okay? But uh, Desiree Hodge a month said, welcome. I mean, what did she say here? She said, she says it's a dream. I'm sticking to that theory. They are going with the metaphor, the old me is dead. I'm going to say that Desiree Hodge, you are still alive here. It could, I don't think it's a dream. But it could be the old me is dead and I'm not that guy anymore. You know, once I find my way out of this, once I recover, once I all the heat dies off me, um, you know, I'm turning over a new leaf. I did have a guy that say, hey, they said he was murdered while in the gas station. And that is true, but it could that could be spun where, you know, I'm sorry we got our facts wrong. He was shot. He wasn't murdered. He is actually alive. Um, I think I believe it's illegal to fake your own death. So, you know, how they spin that, it, it's still able to be spun. Let's just leave it at that. Um, official epitome said one month ago, he said, what if the huge twist is Ghost really did get shot last season instead of Angie? And the whole season six was him in a coma playing out his life as if it was the other way around. As in he got shot, not her. Because the bullet hit him him almost in the same place as it did Angie. All right, so official epitome, I'm going to have to retire that one. And I'm going to retire because, you know, I don't think Ghost is in a coma and he's envisioning Dre getting burned. Him calling 2-Bit and Spanky saying, hey, uh, so-and-so, your day one is going to be in there any day now. And if you make it his last day, I got a, I got a reward for you. And then he gets out and then he gets put back in. I don't, I don't think ghosts would dream like that. I don't think you would dream like that. So I'm going to say that that one is not true. I don't believe he's the one who got shot and Angela's coming back and she's alive. I think Angela's gone. Um, as much as I enjoyed those scenes, I think Angela's gone. So we're going to have to just move on from that one. Um, Lord Fader gave me two. I'm going to read the short one first. He said, her, her being Ramona, and Q, Q is the guy that wants to date Tasha. Her and Q are siblings. Siblings of who? They are Breeze's kids is what he's saying. And he thinks that they both kill Ghost in episode 15. That would be crazy, number one. And number two, um, that is still on the table. That very well could be. So, Lord Fader, you got one there. We're going to leave that up, okay? Uh, Rap2003 commented, I think Tariq shot Ghost but didn't kill him. And Ghost saw that Tariq shot him. I think Tariq shot him because he's doing the same as Ghost when he was a kid. Then Ghost would be in jail. 
All right, so that one's going to be alive. I do think if I had to pick one of the seven suspects, uh, six now because Dre is dead, I do think Tariq could have been the shooter. Um, I said that in my last video. Could have been someone he trusted. He had the look on his face of deep hurt, shock when he fell from the balcony. Um, also, they said that Ghost and Kanan took out Breeze. We don't know who Breeze is to them. Um, I highly doubt Ghost would have shot his father. Just being real with you. We don't know who Breeze is to them. But if you just look at the general plot, Ghost did the same thing as a kid. And Tyreek is just doing the same thing like father, like son. We're going to leave that one on the table. I do believe that could be a possibility, though I'm not buying it. It's still, it has not been proven elsewise. So, um, Tasha, I don't think shot Ghost. And I do think Tasha is going to eventually get killed by Tommy. Uh, that is just my opinion. Here's one from Lord Fader again. And he says, this is leaked information. So, and it's kind of long, so stick with me. He says, Ramona and Q are Breeze's kids. They killed Ghost and shot Blanca. Heard Tommy was killing himself after he found Ghost dead in his office. Tommy killed all of Ghost's enemies before he found Ghost's body. Tommy killed Dre, Paz, Ramona, and Q, but he was too late. Q shot and killed Tate because he found out Ramona's plan and tried to warn Ghost. But Ghost was too jaded to hear him. Tommy kills Paz with a knife and tells her he killed Angela. Tariq did not shoot Ghost, neither did Tasha. This is linked information. Not a theory. Ramona was the only person in truth. She let Q in and they killed Ghost. And on the way out, episode 15, Tommy, Tommy kills Q and Ramona. Tommy in episode 10 was going to warn Ghost that all of his enemies were dead and Ghost was safe. But he walked into the club and found Ghost shot to death in his office chair. Tommy is deeply hurt and feels like he lost it all. And so Tommy ends his own life. Ghost was daydreaming about falling over the banister. Now, I think Dre being killed debunks this theory. Some of it. But if it's a theory, it's got to be 100% right. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to retire that one. But a lot of this could happen. Um, it could have been a daydream of him falling over the banister or a metaphor of him falling from grace. I had another guy say that uh, power started off with ghosts up high looking down and Angela walked in. And now it's going to end with him up high falling down. So... That is very well possible. The part of this that I cannot debunk, though, is, okay, he says, Ramona and Q are Breeze's kids. That is possible. They killed Ghost, even though I don't think he's dead. They killed Ghost and shot Blanca. Okay, well, in the same, I guess, take, you also said Tommy stabbed Blanca with a knife. Stabbed Pot. So we're still good there. Um, Blanca's still alive. That could very well have happened. Tommy killed all of Ghost's enemies before he found Ghost's body. So Tommy would have to kill Paz, Ramona, and Q because Dre is dead. That still may happen. Um, I don't even know if he knows who Ramona is. Like, we've never seen a shot of Tommy and Ramona in the same area, I believe. Um, we just haven't seen that. So I don't even know if he knows who Ramona is. And... I don't think he is going to let Tasha live, in my opinion. So, that's a tough one, uh, Lord Fader. That is a tough one. But uh, moving past that, you know, when you think about what you actually saw in the video, and we waited for a while <laughs> to finally see this, Drake got his ass burned up. Uh, I mean, and it was just, it was like, like all of you guys, I'm sure, you know, to see his character, his own character unfolded a lot. Like, we knew he was this weasel snake saying anything to get with his way to get out of the situation. But all in that one episode, man, we got to see his daughter. We got to meet his mom. We got to find out why his mom hated him. This dude went in. He tried. He robbed his mom. His mom pulled a gun on him but couldn't shoot him. He took the gun and pulled it on her and couldn't shoot her. I mean, this dude's character 
really unfolded the last episode and we got to see that and it was just like wow you know we don't know who shot ghost but damn dre is fucked up so um that was that was something that that was something to see him do that and you know shout out to rotimi he did an unbelievable job i guess he was supposed to die after episode three or after season three he made it till the damn near the end of season six chapter 11 you know so uh shout out to him for playing dre i mean he he owned that character because dre is man and to have your girl saying hey you know let's drive we saw this uh we saw this in heat where uh god what is the guy's name it's not al pacino al pacino's the cop and i'm trying de niro goes back to save the girl and it's just like you know what you are in the car you have the money the girl is saying let's go all you had to do was go and dre is home free he was so worried about ghosts rolling up on him and the truth be told ghost walks around you know like he's got a cape and a bulletproof vest on Ghosts don't be worried about getting shot. None of that. And he sits in that Escalade watching people get set up like no one knows his car. I mean, ghosts can be touched. So all Dre had to do was just roll off. And for whatever reason, he had to go back because he didn't want to look over his shoulder like they said. And he didn't want to be worried about ghosts rolling up on him. And it's just like, dude, all you had to do was roll out. So, you know, Tommy, man, excuse me, Tommy, Dre, yeah, whew, that was, it was, it was, it was kind of like bittersweet. Like, I wanted them to get Dre, but I don't want Dre to get got like that. I didn't want to see that man get burned up in a cell. I wanted to see 2-Bit, Tommy, Dre, or uh, Ghost, all of them in the same spot like we got this motherfucker. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, I, I didn't want to see him go out in a blaze of fire in a cell, but it is what it is. He he owned that character. So we got to see Dre's point of view. I don't really feel like it shed any light on what happened with Ghost. I just feel like it, it singled out. Um, it did two things. It singled out who actually didn't do it. And it also gave us how the writers plan to play the next four episodes. They're going to show us each character or group of characters their like uh perspective of what was going on that day it looks like Paz is going to be up next and why she was headed to truth to say do whatever and it'll be interesting to see who takes Paz out if she gets taken out whatever um it'll be interesting to see i am going to i'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to applaud that punch that dre put on blanca god dog he lit her up like pow uh blanca gets on my nerve like I said, beautiful woman, great actress, but her voice and her character, she's playing her role because she drives me effing crazy in this show. I can't stand her. So to see her take that punch like that, I mean, I I, I threw that punch. And I'm sure many of y'all threw that punch. So, man, uh, I can't wait to see what happens in episode 12. And I believe it's going to go towards pause, might go towards sax. I think they'll probably save Tasha and Tyreek last because... They are the likely two or Ramona. We will find out. I believe 12 is going to be Ghost Always Wins. I think they said something like that. And that'll be interesting to see if they actually come through with the title or if, you know, it's a, a, a play on words, what's what they like to do. So that is my review on um, Power Episode 11, Still Dre, and some of the theories that were sent to me that i had to either put to bed or keep alive and um you know i'd love to hear what you guys think after watching episode 11 like i said they really didn't show us much they just showed us a little bit about where dre was at and what he was going on and what he was trying to do but man did his character unfold in those last you know 20 30 minutes so i will be waiting for episode 12 as always, if you like what you heard, hit the like button, hit subscribe. It helped me get to a thousand subs. It definitely helps my channel. I will be able to give you more hot takes. I will be able to give you more everything because you've given me more people. And I will definitely appreciate that. I appreciate getting to 652. And if you can help me get to 1000, I would even appreciate it even more. So until the next video, take care. God bless. And I'll see you when I see you.